Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Super User. Today, as the title of the video suggests, I am gonna talk about when, why and how you should camouflage the MAC address of your network interface device. I will leave all the resources in the description. First we will talk about what a MAC address is. MAC stands for Media Access Control. It's a unique address assigned to every network interface device like wired connections, Ethernet cards or Wi-Fi adapters. It is used within the network to identify devices and transfer data between them. To view the available network interfaces and information about them, we want to open terminal and as always become root user. Type command sudo space hyphen i. Enter your password. Now type command ifconfig which displays network interface configurations. Now as you can see, there are three network interfaces available. First one is X0. It is the Ethernet connected to my machine. Second is LO. It is a loopback interface that system uses to communicate with itself. It is not our concern right now. Third is LAN0. This is my external Wi-Fi adapter. Yours might have a different name. Now, have a look at both X0 and LAN0. Both have a 12 characters long code after Ether. This is their respective MAC addresses. Now the first question, when will we need to camouflage our MAC address? Well, there are a lot of scenarios, but let's go with the most entertaining one. And that is when you are trying to get access to a target system through its network interface. The second question, why? For instance, let's suppose I cracked a Wi-Fi password and when I connect to that network, they might be able to see my device's MAC address, which can be traced back to us. To avoid such situation, we camouflage MAC address making you anonymous. Some of you might confuse camouflaging with hiding the MAC address, so let me make it clear. What I meant by camouflaging is that we will change the MAC address from original to something else. In this manner, real MAC address will not be exposed. Also we can pretend to be some specific network interface, implying that we are somebody else, somebody specific. Ok, th this sounds all well and good, but now the third question is. How to do it? Well, it is pretty simple. First, we will disable the interface whose MAC address we want to change. In my case, it is going to be LAN0. Then we will run this command. If config LAN0 HW to represent hardware, Ether, and now here type the MAC address that you want to assign to your network interface. And now enable LAN0 back again. Type if config len0 up. Now I will split this terminal so that you can see the comparison between the information earlier and now. Again, become root user. And now type command if config to view network interface configuration. Now as you can see up here this was our MAC address and now down here we have already changed the MAC address so this is how you change your MAC address also remember once you restart the network interface your MAC address will change back to the original state but some of you out there might face a problem. Network manager might revert MAC address back to original without even restarting your network interface. If so, I'll show you how to remedy this situation. I'll again split the terminal and become root user. Now remember, all these processes can be done in a single terminal. I'm just using multiple terminals so I can explain it clearly to you. Okay, what we have to do is to make some changes in configuration file in network manager. For that, we will open this file in a text editor and type the following command. Get it is the default GUI text editor in Kali and later part is the location of the network manager configuration file. For people who use leafpad like me, we can change get it to leafpad like this. Now run it. 
and here we have it now. I have to add a piece of code here that I'll leave in the description below. Just copy and paste it. It will basically tell the network manager to not to concern itself with the MAC address. Now save it and close it. And it's done. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts regarding it, please ask me in comments. I'll be happy to answer your queries if good. Also comment suggestions on what you would like to see next time. If you found this video informative, please like and share it. And also subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming videos. See you next time.